Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another Makeup Monday. So for this Makeup Monday, this video is sponsored by Jayos Wish. Um, so earlier this month, I went to a Great Gatsby themed wedding to celebrate Jalisha and Frankie and the wedding was absolutely beautiful. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you should because I posted um, uh, some pictures from their wedding. It was very, very beautiful and it was a really awesome theme for a wedding. Um, so the week before the wedding, I went to Jalisha's bridal shower and I, I hadn't picked out my outfit yet. So I asked her like, where should I go to um, buy my outfit for the wedding? Because everybody came in, everybody came dressed for the occasion. So, um, I initially thought I was going to have to go to a thrift store and kind of find my dress and everything, but which would have been okay because if you are a OG subscriber, I used to do thrift hauls back in the day and I was prepared to do that. But she said that I should just go on Amazon because they have everything that you need there. So I went on Amazon and I already have Amazon Prime. So I found my dress and my accessories on Amazon. So fast forward and I post my picture on Instagram and you guys loved it. And then I decided to leave a review on the actual Amazon website of me wearing the dress and how I felt about it. And so the company reached out to me and they wanted to sponsor a video. So shout out to Jayosh Wish. I think that's how you pronounce it, Jayosh Wish. And um, they wanted to sponsor a video where I do my hair, my makeup, and then I try on one of their dresses with all the accessories. So they sent me this dress and they sent me all the accessories that I have on. So um, I really appreciate them doing that. And this is, you know, something a little bit different for Makeup Monday. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy it. And I will see you at the end of the video. Yeah, so I have the, the Pond's Dry Skin Cream on my face. And I am gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows. They look awful, like they need to be shaped and everything, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and do those for you guys. And if you're wondering where I got this scarf on my head from, um, I got it from a beauty con box, I think like three years ago. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna put the Sasha Mattifier face primer all over my face and on my eyebrows as well. All right, before I do my brows, I'm gonna take the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Orange Corrector, and I'm gonna put that on all of the areas where I have dark spots. And the main area I have like dark spots is under my nose, which is where I get an eczema patch. It's going away, but it's still there. It comes and goes. And I'm going to put it underneath my eyes. Alright, so what I like to do before I do my eyebrows is take the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. And I like to put that on my brows just so they're not like oily. And so that the pencil or the pomade or whatever I decide to use goes on a lot easier without like sliding everywhere. Alright, so what I'm going to use is the NYX um, Micro Brow Pencil in Brunette. And I've been using this like all summer, but I will say I really like how this is. It gives your brows a very natural look, but I will say I run out of these very, very quickly. Um, like I probably go through one each month. Alright, so I'm going to carve out my brows using my P. Louise base and my foundation. This is what the P. Louise base looks like. And I'm just using my Lancome foundation.
right so I have finally finished my brows my brows take forever and I'm trying to I'm probably going to like speed up everything in the video I recently did a smoky easy smoky eye tutorial for you guys a few weeks ago and that is the same look that I did for this um, 1920s flapper inspired look because I wanted to do something that was very quick but I wanted something that was also dramatic as well so I'm going to be using my Tartlet and Bloom palette and I'm just going to be using two shades to achieve this look I'm just going to use the shade I'm just going to use the shade Leader and Rebel I'm going to start off with Leader on a flat brush and I'm going to be using this um, this 102 brush from BH Cosmetics so it's like a rounded flat brush I'm just gonna start packing the leader shade which is the darker one on my lid So I'm bringing this leader shade up to about my crease area and kind of stop in there. And I'm gonna take my blending brush from BH Cosmetics. It's like it's no number on it. And I'm gonna take that rebel shade and just blend out the edges of my of the leader shade. With this look, I did not wear any liner, but I did wear lashes. So I'm going to use the um, Mega Babe Lashes from Bold Face Makeup. And I did a haul for these lashes um, probably two or three weeks ago. And they have some very like dramatic looks. And they're very, very pretty. And they're pretty affordable. I think they were like maybe $9 somewhere around there. So I'm just going to pop these on. Alright, so I can move on to the rest of my face. I'm going to be using the Lancome uh, Taunty Doll in 450 Suede In. Now I have used this like... I think a lot in the past like I ran out of a bottle probably a year and a half ago and I just re-upped and bought some like two weeks ago and then Octoly they were kind enough to send me another bottle so shout out to Octoly for uh, sending me another bottle of of this Lancome foundation so I'm gonna be fully stocked for a while so I do like this foundation I feel like it's a pretty good color match for me and I recently posted a picture and I'll insert it of me. I was wearing Pop Blossom and I had like very like neutral, like natural makeup. And I didn't hit my face with any with any face tune, even though I'm not I'm a even though I'm a firm believer in like editing pictures to make them better and stuff. But I didn't have to do any face tune or anything with this foundation on that particular day. And I have very textured uh, skin on my cheeks. And that's something I'm really impressed by. So, um, this is a more expensive foundation. I believe it's like $47, $45, somewhere around there. But I feel like they have a really great shade range as well as the way that it just smooths out my skin. I'm pretty impressed by it. So, um, I'm just going to go ahead and put this all over my face. I think in the summertime this shade is a little bit um, 
too light for me but this time of year I feel like it's probably um, just a better shape match for me. So for my concealer, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind here. I bought this like in July and I'm finally like almost completely out, which I'm very proud of because sometimes you just keep buying makeup and not using it till it's all gone. So I'm pretty proud and I do have a backup already. So I'm prepared. And I really like this applicator on this concealer, um, so I would highly recommend it. I feel like I feel like I reach for this more than any other concealer that I own. Oh yeah, so do you guys prefer um, natural light videos versus like? studio light or studio lit videos like with the ring light and everything um, I'm trying to film sometimes in different settings and stuff and I don't have to use all my equipment and everything if I'm using natural light but I just want to know do you guys prefer natural light videos like this or like studio lit videos Alright, to set all of those areas where I just put concealer, I'm going to use my Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. My setting powder is baking or whatever. I'm going to use the Koki um, Powder Contra Palette. I've been using this for about a month, maybe two months, and I really like this. Like, I reach for this all the time. I use these two shades at the bottom for my contour. I don't really do cream contours much anymore. And I'm just using this um, 114 contour brush from BH Cosmetics. I'm going to use this um, E27 brush from Morphe and I'm going to contour my nose a little I'm going to contour my nose a bit and for the contour on my cheeks I didn't use that second shade today I just stuck with that one the first one and I'm going to use that first shade on my nose I'm going to use my um, Lancome like crayon pencil in black ebony. It's like a cold pencil and I'm just going to put that in my lower lash line. I'm going to put that in my water line. I always get those two confused. Lower lash line, water line. And just to make the look more smoky, I am going to take just both of those shades that I used on my lid, which is just Leader and Rebel. And I'm going to use this Dome Eyeshadow Brush from e.l.f. And I'm just going to run it along my lower lash line. So I'm going to start off with Leader. And 
I'm going to take just a little bit of Rebel and go a little bit underneath that. You really only need a liter to smoke it out, but I'm just going to do this. All right, so lately I have not been setting my foundation for some reason. Like, I just haven't been setting my foundation at all. So I'm just going to... I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in Medium Deep. And I think the reason why I haven't been using it is because I couldn't find it. And I recently found it in my bathroom. So I'm going to use that today to set all the areas that were not highlighted. So, and pretty much all of my tutorials this year, I've been using the um, Makeup Revolutions Ultra Blush Palette. But recently, Carity sent me like four different blush palettes and I want to use that today. Um, the one I'm going to use today is their Blush Bomb Pal Pink. And I like how they package their blushes. It's like blush palettes. You get two blushes and then you get a highlight in it. And I do have like an unboxing on my Instagram. So follow me on in, follow me on Instagram at iFancyCupcakes. And when you click on my page, I have like little tabs at the top. And one of them says PR unboxing. So just click on that if you want to see all the other um, blush palettes that I got from them. So I'm going to use, um, I'm going to try Fleek and Hey There which are those, let's see. I'm gonna try to use these two here. This one is Fleek and this one is Hey There. And we'll see how they look. So I'm not, I'm trying not to go too hard with the blush. I used to didn't wear blush back in the day, but um, I really like wearing blush now. It does like bring the whole look together. I love this eye look it's so easy to do but it's so dramatic and like has so much presence so for highlight like I know they were not wearing highlighters in the 1920s but I'm gonna wear it anyway so I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Master Chrome metallic highlighter in molten gold and I've been using this non-stop well, I've tried other highlighters this year, but I've used this heavily since January and I haven't even hit pan. I do have a dent in it, but it's not like anything too serious. I always come back to this highlighter like I could use more expensive ones, but this one is just so good. And I do have more expensive highlighters, but this one is just like a holy grail highlighter. I'm going to be using the Milani Make It Last um, setting spray. Alright, so what really makes this look besides the um, easy smoky eye is the lip. I'm going to be using the shade Roulette, which is a purple um, eggplant kind of shade. So the face is all done so we can move on to the hair. So the wig that I wore for um, the Great Gatsby theme wedding that I went to was um, Free Tress Letty which was perfect for this occasion because Free Tress, Free Tress Letty is very like it has that vintage deep wave in it. Um, I haven't done a review on this wig but I did feature it in my fall 
and my fall wig lookbook and if you haven't seen that you definitely need to check it out because I featured some really nice wigs in that video and I'll put that on the info card for you guys so I'm gonna go ahead and brush it out just a little bit I've only worn it one no I've worn it twice once for the wig fall for the fall wig lookbook and then once for the wedding so I'm gonna brush these curls out just a little bit don't have my wig grip if you watch my recent video, I told you guys, like, I can't keep up with my wig grips. I have two on the way, so. Okay, so I'm going to take my scarf off, which looks very cute with this look. And this is a, I've gotten used to left side parts. I'm a right, I'm a right side part girl, but lately I've been wearing a lot of left side part wigs, so. I'm going to adjust my straps because since I don't have my wig grip, this cap feels like really big. I'm just going to take a little bit of my edges out at the front just so the hairline doesn't look too round. And this is a wig that doesn't come with lace, so um, it does have like a thicker hairline. Your part doesn't have to be like super flawless with this look, especially if you get one of those head pieces because it's a headband and it's kind of going to cover up your part a little bit. I'm just going to use this Murray's Edge Wax. I picked this up from Dollar General not too long ago. Now, if you want some super sleek edges, this is not like the edge control for you. I don't feel like it's, it's going to give you that super sleek look, but it gives you a little bit of a hold. It gives you a soft hold. Your edges are not going to be like plastered to your head. So I do have a line of demarcation with my wig and you can remedy that by just putting some got to be glued like at the parting space but I don't think I'm doing that today. I sponsored this video and they sent me one dress to show you guys, but they also sent me some accessories and I'm gonna put, the first thing I'm gonna, I'm gonna put on is the, the headpiece. Um, when I bought my outfit for the wedding, I had a different headpiece that had more gold and stuff in it, but this one has like, like a peacock feather and little crystals on there and the headband part is a lot more slim on this one but it's all good so I'm just gonna put this on my head and I'm gonna cover the part since I didn't like put anything in the part in space so we have that part and I'm gonna put on I want to put on the earrings that they sent me as well So I have the other earring on, so I'm going to pop on the dress and the shoes and everything and the other accessories and I'll show you guys how it looks. As far as the dress goes, I got an extra large, which is a 14, um, 16. I feel like it's pretty true to size. I feel like somebody that's a 16, I don't know, but it definitely fits my size 14 frame. Hey guys, so here is the final look here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I want to thank Jayos Wish. I think that's how you pronounce it. I want to thank you guys for sponsoring this video and sending me this dress and this and all of the accessories to showcase to you guys. Um, now this dress comes, this dress is a lot shorter than the one that I posted on Instagram earlier this month. And the other one had sleeves, so I prefer to have sleeves on my dress, but I still think I look cute in this sleeveless dress. 
Um, I'm six feet tall, so this one is a lot shorter. Um, but it still fits. It comes with a zipper underneath the armpit area. Um, now, that dress I got earlier this month was so beautiful, but <sighs> crazy me, I put it in the washer with that friend. The fringe totally messed up and got knotted, so I would recommend to hand wash this instead of putting it in the washer. Like, of course, I know you guys probably already know that, but just keep that in mind so you don't ruin your dress. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any other questions, leave it down in the comment section and I'll try to get back to you as quickly as possible. Please make sure you are subscribed very close to 90K, which is a huge milestone. Make sure your notifications are turned on. I'll have all of the links to where you can purchase um, everything that I have on in this video in the description box. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.